Hi, everybody. Today, we continue on the subject of intellectual property with three main types of legal registration for an original work. So there are three main ways to protect your intellectual property, patents, trademarks, and copyrights. Each one has specific criteria. Let's start with patents. Patents can be acquired for a physical invention or design. Uh, it's not an artwork or a name or a symbol or a logo or a movie. It's the physical design or use of something. I'll give you an example. Apple has a patent on the AirPods case. Uh, the way it charges your earbuds wirelessly, the way there are no cords. Um, this is called a patent. And here's a picture of their original design patent. Next up is trademarks. By definition, trademark protects the word or symbol that distinguishes the source of goods and services. Usually that means a company's name and logo. Uh, sticking with the Apple example, the word iPhone is trademarked, meaning that the name is protected and is for use by Apple Incorporated only and no one else. Another example is Coca-Cola, which is trademarked as both a brand name and a logo, as you can see here. Lastly, we have copyright. Copyright protects the way in which an idea is presented. Usually we're talking about artistic works here, such as books and paintings and movies and songs, films, television shows, theater productions, cartoons, you name it. If it's an artistic original work, it's usually eligible for a copyright. Now let's spend a minute talking about how to acquire these legal protections. They're not automatic. You actually have to apply for them and you generally need to prove four different things. Okay, number one, your idea has to be executed or in the process of being executed. You can't just have an idea in your mind and say, hey, I want to patent or trademark this idea I had. No, you have to be acting on it in real life. Number two, your idea must be new, never been done before, pretty self-explanatory. Number three, your idea must be useful and you need to prove that it's useful to the public. And number four, your idea must be non-obvious, meaning that even though food recipes are eligible for a patent, you probably couldn't get a patent on a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, it's just too obvious and anyone with relative skill in cooking could easily create it. Now, if any of these seem confusing or debatable, that's because they are confusing and debatable. There is gray area and that's why companies often hire law firms for this. What's obvious, what's non-obvious, what's useful, what's not useful, how long should the patent be valid, these are all things that lawyers do, and especially if you want to be a lawyer in intellectual property, you can have a really successful career answering these types of questions effectively. That's all I've got for you today, but come back for the next video and we'll talk about the restrictions on intellectual property, talking about when you can use other people's intellectual property in what's called fair use.